good morning all of you today we are going to start our next chapter that is chapter 5 data handling right so in this chapter first of all we'll discuss some basic terms what do you mean by data data is the information or numbers collected for use okay and that is called data or it is known as information as well observation each numerical information is called the observation numerical means numbers the information which is given to you in numbers that is the observation okay range the difference between the largest and the smallest value of data is called the range right frequency the number of times a particular observation occurs suppose in the data 2 is a number which is coming 3 times which is occurring 3 times so your frequency of 2 will be 3 okay last is frequency distribution table a tabular arrangement of given numerical data showing the frequency of each observation is known as frequency distribution table. When we implement all the data, all the information that is numerical information in tabular form, that is known as frequency distribution table. Right? So now let's start with exercise 5A. First of all, today we'll discuss only three these three questions. Okay? Just wait. Yes, so these are the three questions of this exercise. So first three questions are, in these questions we will discuss how we can arrange the data in the ascending order and then how we can calculate the highest uh, term, lowest term and range and frequency distribution table. So the first question, in these three questions, okay, we'll we have to draw somewhere uh, these tables also and somewhere these values also. So first question is the savings of six friends are given below. These are the savings of six friends. What is the highest saving? Very easy. Highest saving will be 1250. Okay. 1250. Lowest saving. Lowest saving will be 1225. Okay. So in this way you have to write highest saving this much, lowest saving this much. And range. What is the range? So right here, the highest term range formula is highest term minus lowest term. Highest is this, lowest is this and find out the difference. Answer will be rupees 25. Okay. Next is form a frequency distribution table for the following scores. These are the scores given to you. You have to maintain a frequency distribution table. So first of all, arrange this data in the form of ascending order. First of all, lowest term, then bigger, 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 and the biggest. Okay. So, if 5 is coming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times, so you have to mention 6 times, not single time. Okay. Now, after arranging in ascending order, then you have to make a frequency distribution table. Okay. First of all, right here, scores, here, telemarks, here, frequency. So, 5, five is occurring how many times? six times so write frequency six frequency is how many times that number is occurring okay six is four times right four seven is four times four eight is five times nine is two times ten is one time eleven is seven times twelve is one time now come to this middle column that is telemarks okay so you have to represent this frequency in this in these symbols six means one two three four and fifth means cut and sixth means next line. Okay. Four means one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. Up to four, you have to make these many straight lines. When fifth will come, then you have to cut the line. Fifth means one, two, three, four. Cut the line. Two means one, two. One means one. Seven means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One means one. Okay. So this is your frequency distribution table. The third question is marks obtained by 40 students are given below. Arrange the data in the frequency distribution table. Find out the highest marks, range and which mark is obtained by most of the student. So arrange in the sending order first of all. Okay. This is your sending order. First of all 0, 0 will come then 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So make frequency distribution table. These are the marks, whatever the things are given to you. Suppose marks given, scores given, or uh, what, whatever is given to you. Saving is given. So, right here. 
this last column will always be frequency middle column will be always tally marks okay so zero is coming two times one is coming four two is repeating five times five three is repeating seven times four is occurring six times so in this way so here you have to write these frequency in the form of tilling marks. 2 means 1, 2. 2 straight lines. 4 means 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this way. Okay. So write here up to here. And then write total. After that highest marks they have asked that is 9. Lowest marks will be 9. Sorry highest will be 9. Lowest will be 0. And range will be highest minus lowest that is 9 minus 0 that is 9 okay and which number which marks is uh, means a student has scored that marks most of the time okay so check it check it out the highest frequency so highest frequency uh, highest frequency that is 7 okay 7 is the highest frequency so 3 marks is occurring 7 times so that is the highest frequency so you have to write here 7 times okay 7 times 3 is occurring right so this is your exercise 5th A okay we'll discuss we'll discuss uh, some formula some concept uh, in the class as well okay so do these questions in the fear notebook and do practice as well okay so take care and bye bye all of you